In 1988, a plasterer from the West Country took the world by storm. Eddie the Eagle Edwards' performance on the ski jump at the Calgary Winter Olympics in Canada took brave failure to new heights. Every leap seemed to be a near-death experience, and the unassuming, bespectacled Brit gained legions of fans and global fame. So when did he realise that he was a star? I was getting an inkling during the Olympic Games because between the time that I did the Big Hill and the closing ceremonies was about a week and I was flown down to LA to do the Johnny Carson show which was the biggest show in the States at the time um, and I remember doing that but I think the, the main realisation was when I flew back uh, to Heathrow, um, got back to the airport and uh, I met my manager there for the first time that I employed while I was in Calgary and um, and then uh, I was waiting for my bags and then I had about 30 policemen come up to me and they said, oh, we're here to help you through the airport. And I didn't know what they were talking about. And they said, oh, whatever happens, you've got to keep moving, keep your head down, keep moving. And then we went through, um, there was like 10,000 people all shouting and screaming and TV cameras were pointing at me and there were people breaking out into fights, trying to get close to me and all this sort of thing. And uh, uh, and it was, it was crazy. Eddie had been a good alpine skier, almost making the GB Olympic team in 1984, but he'd only been jumping for two years when he learned that he'd be going to Calgary. He was, I was actually in a mental hospital at the time that um, I was given the notification that I was going to the Calgary Olympics. Um, I was tra I'd been invited up to train in Finland with the Finnish team and I was in a place called Corpio, which is midway up in Finland. And um, one of the ski jump trainers on the ski jumps um, was also a painter and decorator, and he was working in a mental hospital at the time. I couldn't afford to stay in a hotel, so we asked them if I could stay in this mental hospital, and they agreed. And so I lived there for four and a half weeks, and it was while I was there that I got the letter back home um, to say that um, I was um, going to Calgary and um, I managed to get out of the mental hospital, flew home, got my Olympic uniform and then um, shot off to America to Steamboat Springs to train for two weeks to be the American team and then went from Steamboat Springs on to Calgary for the Olympic Games. Now a film of Eddie's life is in the pipeline with rumours that Harry Potter star Rupert Grint will be playing the lead role and the Eagle has since returned to the scene of his triumph where there have been some changes. Now anyone can experience what he had to face over 20 years ago. The 120 metre ski jump now has got a zip line so people can go down this zip line and get some sort of sensation of what it's like to ski jump. Um, which is lovely, you can use it during the winter and summer. And, uh, and it was lovely going back and meeting, uh, meeting all the volunteers again and the people who looked after the uh, Olympic uh, sites and, uh, and it was lovely to go back. In February 2010, the Winter Olympics will be back in Canada for the first time since 1988. And Eddie says that if they're half as good as Calgary, it should be quite an event. Even though it was a real difficult fight and a struggle to get to Calgary, um, it was still fantastic getting there and it was my dream come true getting to Calgary. It was my gold medal getting to Calgary. Um, and then everything that happened afterwards, travelling all over the world, opening shopping centres, golf courses, fun rides and doing that kind of thing. Um, and everything that's happened since, it's been absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm.